Um, hi, and thank you to the people who did nice comments on my last one on Facebook. And um, now we're going to do to be doing reflection and refraction, with which um has to do with physics, light waves, and density of fluids. Hmm. Well, yesterday was all about density. Can you tell us what that means? It means how thick a liquid or a solid or a gas is. Mm hmm That's right. So what does density have to do with us today? Mm. Or I should say density of fluids. Well, remember what fluids are? Yeah. Okay, what, what are fluids? Um, liquids and gases. Yeah. So, like, air is a... Flu fluid. Yeah. What else is a fluid? The flu. <laughs> That's right. The flu is a fluid, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, what else? What are some liquids that are fluids? Spit. Yeah. Mm, water. Yeah. That's right. Blood. Yeah. Um, juice. Yeah. That's, those are some great examples. Sewer water? Sewer water? Ew. What? But you're right. Even sewer water is a fluid. So fluid can change. Okay. Yeah. Fluid can yeah. change density. So yeah, you're right. Today is all about physics. And uh, we're talking about reflection and refraction. And I believe that Simon has something to show you about... What are we doing first? Reflection? Yeah. Okay, grab your spoon. What is reflection? Oh yeah, you can see it really well. That's my kitchen over there. Yeah. Okay, so can you explain how that works? Um, when the light waves bend off, bend off um, an object, um, it, it goes onto a new path and, or I mean bounces off. And then um, it allows you to see the picture of what you were reflecting. Yeah, that's right. So can you, you gave me a good example earlier this morning and you gave me an example with some animals. Can you give me that example? Because that was a really good explanation. Do you remember what you talked about before? You look at my kitchen. I need some time to think. <laughs> so you told me something about wildebeests. Um, yeah. Okay. So it's like wildebeests um are running in a path and um when and when the whole herd runs into something, they go and go on to a new path. Yeah. So in this example with reflection, can you show me what the wildebeests would look like? If they were light photons? Yeah, you're right. But remember, light photons don't just go in a straight line. How would they actually look? And then they hit the surface. And then bounce off. That's right. And in reflection, that's why we can see ourselves. Yeah. In something like a spoon because it will bounce off. See my kitchen. How about uh, I flip this camera around and Simon, can you show us some reflection faces? Let's see what you got. I'm going to see if I can. Oh, you're upside down in this one. Hey, what and so are you. I'm upside down? Yeah. I think you're upside down. So are you. Okay. What else you got? <laughs> I got big hair. 
<laughs> All right, we have some friends who are saying hi. We've got Jacqueline and we've got Vern saying hi. Spoon. All right, okay, so if we're done with that, what else do you have to show us? Um, some liquids that can refract. Okay, so you told me about the wildebeests and you use that as an example instead of light photons. How do the light photons act with refraction? Um, so instead of it being like this, it's like this. Oh, it went in a different direction. What causes the change of direction? Um, the energy of the light photons. And when they're traveling through something that has different... Density? That's right. And air has a different density than what? Water. Yeah, that's right. You want to show and, us some... Oh, go ahead. And air has more density than most liquids. It, I think it has less. Let's uh, let's see what you got going. Let's try out some stuff here. So what is that? Mazula. Mazula. What's Mazula oil? There we go. Bubbles. We have a nice hello from Jamie and Rain. They're all the way in Saskatchewan. That reminds me, as we're doing this, if you wanna tell us where you're from, that would be amazing. I know we have uh, some friends from all over the place. Okay, so you have some activities to show. We already talked about the spoon. We have our little list here. You wanted to show an activity about a straw and what happens with the straw. So let's try it in water first. Okay, let's go like this here so we can, can see that. Yeah, you can put it in, see what happens. So show the straw first. It's perfectly straight. Perfectly straight. And um, then look at it behind the water. Ooh, yeah. And then look at it in the water. Yes, yeah, so keep it still for a moment. It looks like there's two glasses. Yep. From my end, it even looks like there's two straws. Yeah, same. For the glass, wait, mine looks like three. One going across there, the actual straw going like that, and then the big chunky one going right there. Interesting. Yeah. So did the straw change at all? No. Pull it out. Let's see. No. It's Actually, the same. it did change. It got wet. That is true. That was a change. Okay, let's put that in again and let's see that refraction. <gasps> and if you look at it this way, it kind of looks like it's starting to peel away. But actually, it's not. That's right. Let's see what happens when you put it in oil. So let's bring the oil cup over a little bit so it's closer to the water. We have our friends from Thompson saying hello. That's Nicole and her family all the way from Thompson. Simon, do you remember going to Thompson? No. We went to Thompson when we caught the train up to Churchill in the fall. Oh. Yeah. So keep the straw still for a moment. Now the straw is still straight, but look at that. It looks like there's a bend and then another straw and then a little ripped piece of straw. Yeah, but really, did the straw change at all? No. That's right, that's pretty cool. So that shows that there's different density in the air, the water, and the oil, which is all causing? Density of fluids. And what's it causing? A refraction. Yeah, you got it. So we can put the straw over here, and you wanted to do some drawings. But Let's check this out. So this idea was Simon's idea um, from yesterday's session. 
because we kind of went off track a little bit in a really good, curious way. And Simon started looking at some drawings through oil. So for the first one, I'm just going to be drawing a random stick man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have something very important here before you start. Guess what it is? Jackson from West Hawk is with Auntie from Lynn Lake, and they say hi. Okay. And we also have Joseph and Danielle from Churchill. Okay. Well, would you like to say hi? Hi. <laughs> All right, let's keep going with the drawing. So what are you drawing? Pikmin, the short arms, and a small head, hmm. and long legs. Yeah, very long legs. And what would you like to do with stick man? Miss so we can see what he looks like there. Oh, it looks like there's a, there's a smaller version than a bigger version. Okay, wait, I need to get that at an angle so I can, whoa, look at, <laughs> look I, at that. Can I show, oh, can no. I show one? Can I show one? Just tell me where you want the phone. Oh yeah. Oh no, mom, what I say? Can I hold yeah. it? Yeah. Wait, can I hold it? Yes, you can hold it, Simon. Look like. Oh, look, there's a, then he's a small guy. Oh, yeah, we have to keep the phone this way. Oh. Yeah. So, my version it looked like there were two clowns. It looked like there was a clown. Yeah. Let's see what happens when we put it through water and the refraction through water. Well, it still it looks the same, but except. Look, he's so tiny. Oh, look at, look at through the phone. Huh. He's got a big, long leg. <laughs> One looks like there's two of them. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. I'm going to hold this up and see if it looks any different, too. Oh, I can't even angle it. Oh, look at that. It looks like he's doing a crazy dance. Oh, it looks like he's kind of teleporting, kind of. Teleporting? Yeah. It kind of does. All right, would you like to do another one? Okay. What about with the arrows? Yeah. If you can draw a big arrow, well, not that big actually, but draw an arrow and we'll see what happens. A bow and arrow or just an arrow? Just an arrow. Okay, so let's put the arrow behind the water. Oh, it kind of looks like there's a bend in the arrow. Yeah, I need to Wait, one change one. my... Oh, my goodness. What? Look. Oh, yeah. And, Mom, one note I saw with what? my vision. What? I saw it like... I saw it like... It's just going one direction, but then in the water, it looks like it curved that way. Just, oh, my oh. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your hand. That's my hand. I'll see the marker. Okay, let's see what happens uh, if we look at the arrow through the oil. Look at that. Yeah. It's going in the opposite direction of what it actually is. I know how that happens. How? Um, because glass has a density and the liquid inside has a different density. So, um, uh, so, um, the glass already made a change, but then the liquid made another change, which made it go in the opposite direction. Oh, so you've got like um, double density issues happening. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe triple, because one part of the glass liquid, another part of the glass. And what other fluid is all around us? Air. So you've got the density from the air, the density from the liquid, and, and the density from the glass. Interesting. And look at that. The arrow goes in a different direction. Now, I saw something that I haven't tried yet, but I'm wondering if you would like to try it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, you know how this happens, how the arrow looks like it's going in a different direction wait, once mom. it's through the liquid. Wait, mom, mom, wait, mommy. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Well, not what? Like when I saw it through the glass, um, instead of the point, it was the point was going backwards. That's right. Because of refraction. Yeah. So, 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 like, it was like this. That's what it's not like. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
Okay, we have a couple more friends here giving you some messages. We have um, Jamie from Saskatchewan, and she's saying that Rain is loving this. So thank you, Simon. We have your Auntie Lori watching. Um, and we also have Jaylene watching. And guess what she said? She loves your lab coat and your shirt from Australia. Who gave you that Australia shirt? I forget. Jaylene. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have a challenge for you. I would like you to take two different color markers, like the pink and the blue maybe. Pink and blue. Yeah. And I want you to draw a thick pink line and a thick blue line. Yeah, that that's thick yeah, that's thick enough. Color those in. Okay, and leave a small bit of space in between, and then do a thick blue line. Nope, move it over even closer to the pink line. Closer, 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 closer. There. <laughs> well, how about you stop it like there and just fill in the line to there. <laughs> Deal? <laughs> that would have been a very thick line. That would have been an incredibly thick line, yes. I think it wouldn't be a line at all. Then. What do you think it would be? Rectangle. Oh, yeah. It would be a rectangle. It is already a rectangle, not a line. True. Do you have any jokes today while we're waiting for this? Mm. Well, you already told one. Do you want to say it again for the people who may have missed it? Um, What's a fluid? A fluid is a bad thing. And if you get a fluid, you get the flu. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, so now we have this blue line and this pink line, and we're going to see if this works. So we're going to look at it through oil. Oh, it ready? looks so fat. Yeah, it Too does. Fat. Oh my goodness, look at what happened to the blue and the pink line. Oh wait, the pink looks orange. But look at where they are. Look at their spot. Oh yeah, they switched. Isn't that crazy? But mom. Yeah, so look at it. It's solid blue and pink, and then they... Switch spots. Wait, Mom. Yeah? Something I also noticed. What else did you notice? That's an, that's more, that your phone is another piece of glass. Yeah. And, and so, like, it has another thing. On there, it looks like it's just going off to the side. And on there, it looks like it's a lean volcano. So, you're saying what it looks like through the phone is different than what your own eyes observe? Yeah. Because, Mom, look at yeah. through the phone. Yeah. So, look at it like that. Yeah. Now, now look at it through the glass. Like, now look at it actually through there. Yeah. Oh, yes. I see what you mean. Okay, let's see if that same thing happens in water. So, we have a blue and a pink line. And when we get down... <laughs> We have a blue and a pink line, and when we get down a little bit further, oh, look at the pink line kind of looks yeah, like but I have to position this a little bit better. Oh, look, Simon, come here, look through the phone. Oh, look, um, the blue one kind of looks like um, a water spout, yeah, but something different happened, not the same as what happened in the oil. Um, they're still in the same places, but they look thicker, yeah. So why do you think that happened? Oh, um, because water has more or less density than the oil. Oh, yeah, I guess so. That's pretty interesting. And look at here they switch spots. Fat, fat blue, fat, fat orange, fat orangey pink. Yeah. All right, we have a couple of messages. We have Miss Julian from Falcon saying, Simon, this is incredible. Keep up the great work. And your Auntie Lori saying, good job, Simon. Okay, so. What does a reef say? A reef said, dun dun dun, ha ha ha. From when you said, dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. <laughs> All right, so you have, um, I think we have time for the challenge. Uh, I so got what two is, badges. You do, let's see. What? 
And we have a big thank you to the University of Manitoba and Dr. Olwyn for those awesome I Heart Science badges. Is Dr. Olwyn? You know our friend Olwyn. She's been here many times. Uh, so what's the challenge for today? Um, um, find some liquids that can reflect, reflect and refract and then um, make some drawings or get objects and and then um take a picture and um if you want you don't have to show us your results right but what we're asking yeah i'm gonna flip the camera back around so what we're asking is for all of our friends out there to take some very silly refraction and reflection pictures just See? read this <laughs> um, 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 okay, uh, put it down though so we can we can talk and we want to see your silly pictures so if you can take a silly reflection or do some silly drawings and make refraction work fine speak <laughs> we also have well don't run away yet Simon um, we also have a challenge for our older friends that if you um think about our science curriculum, we always keep revisiting these themes. So this is in early years, this is in middle okay. years. It's also in high school. And you can look up the three laws of reflection, sorry, three laws of refraction and take a picture showing an example of each law. All right, so we've got Mick who's saying, great job, Simon, keep up the good work. All the best from Cranberry. In a few minutes, we will be hosting a repeat session of this on Instagram, which will be interpreted with ASL. So catch us there if you like, and we look forward to all of the results. Wait. Wait. Would you like something to say something else? Bye.